Now another property a good cryptographic cache function has to have is the non-correlation property. So that means I have a so-called avalanche effect that if I change only one bit or make a tiny modification into the input of the hash function, the output should look completely different. This is of course important because you don't want to be able to correlate input and output in some way. So a tiny change in the input should drastically change the output. As a rule of thumb, you would usually say that every input bit has to affect at least half of all output bits within the hash function. And if that's the case, that's a good start.